Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central, and if this is the first time you are finding one of my videos, I like to do Hero Wars informational, educational videos uh, for new players, both on the mobile and Facebook platforms versions of this game. And this is a new video series for the mobile version of the game. It's a free-to-play playthrough, okay? If you find this video interesting or helpful, please consider leaving a uh, subscription in the uh, in the subscription button down below. The subscription button. <laughs> so a lot of people have been asking me to do a free to play uh, series. What heroes they should level if they did a free to play game? Uh, what would be the best bet? You know who who's ideal? And that really got me thinking. What would be what would be a video that I could do that would be a true free to play video that will last forever because these videos are going to last forever. And the reason why I say this, the reason why I talk, you know, give, give this disclaimer is that right now in the mobile version of the game, there's a Lars Krista event happening and getting Lars Krista at level one would be fantastic. Um, for those of you that don't know, Lars and Krista are some twins. They're, they're the, uh, they're, they're the quote unquote twins team. And they're very strong, uh, very strong heroes together. You don't really get them until well later in the game unless you get lucky. And this game is not about luck. I'm sorry, this playthrough is not about luck. This playthrough is about campaign heroes and heroes that you can get from the base merchants. So first rule is campaign heroes only and only early game campaign heroes. I'm not going to say, oh, you know, Lars and Krista are in the campaign later. So I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and have them on my team. Or, you know, whatever. And uh, I'm going to include the merchants that everybody has access to pretty quickly in the game. Uh, that is the, the arena merchant, the outland merchant, the highwayman merchant, and the grand arena merchant. I believe those are the, uh, all, the only merchants. Um, the two merchants, the Guild Wars and the Crossover Guild, um, those merchants I don't want to include because not everybody's going to have access to a strong Guild War team. Uh, so that's going to nix out, you know, Kira, Nebula, Ziri, and uh, and Ju. So I was trying to put together uh, an idea on paper before I started this video series about who I should go with. So instead of revealing to you now what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, thinking, a little bit of thought process, talk you through uh, a little bit about, you know, what's going on with this game, what's going on in the background here, and kind of reveal to you as I go the team that I decided on. And uh, the first issue that I came across when building a free-to-play team, and this is something that has been bugging me about this game since almost day one, is the lack of healers early. Sure, you can get lucky. Sure, you can get a healer from an event randomly. Sure, you can buy a healer. In fact, you can buy Celeste for just like, you know, $3.99 USD. You can buy Celeste um, from day one. I don't want to do that. This is free to play. Um, so what do you get? You get you get Thea. And a lot of people look down on Thea. I think uh, Thea is pretty effective in the right team. And I'm going to try to find what that team is. So this video is the first of probably five or six. I'm not sure how many I'm going to do. Uh, maybe four, five-ish. I don't know. I don't know. Um, discussing this team as I level it up. Uh, today, I'm going to level up to level 10 and kind of discuss the arena vendor at the end. Um, but, you know, as you as you go in the mobile version, you can see here that I've got Astaroth, Galahad, and Thea unlocked. I'm doing a little bit of questing in order to uh, unlock Aurora. You can see here I got, you know, I got to get these three keys to unlock, um, to unlock Aurora in the first little mini game there. Um, yeah. And something I didn't realize because I haven't started a new account in a long time is there are, there are a ton of quests, a ton of fun little quests to do as you're, as you're first starting the game. They really provide you with a ton of free stuff that get you hooked on this game. They just dump quests on you. I think it's like by chapter four, there's uh, quests to complete every single mission and, and also like kill 50 of this, you know, this monster, kill 65 of that monster. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, uh, take this opportunity to mention what server that I'm on. Uh, I joined the newest server at the time. And uh, that server was server three, uh, I'm sorry, 213 spirit banishment. So if you guys want to find me, 
uh, on there, go ahead. If you're going to, you know, invite me to your guild or whatever, I will not accept it. I'm, you know, again, I'm going to try to make this look like, you know, a brand new player doesn't know what he's doing. Um, that's really not fair though. Cause I, with my knowledge, it, you know, I, I know not to spend a lot of materials on heroes that I don't plan on using. And the first decision that I made after Thea, after I decided to try to make Thea work was to use Galahad as my tank. Now, for those of you that know me, know that I love Astaroth. He's my favorite tank on the mobile version of the game on my primary mobile account. Um, and I have several mobile accounts on my main mobile account. I'm building a Luther team. So I hadn't actually ever leveled Galahad up and I wanted to make this team with Galahad, you know, Thea and Galahad is going to be my first two hero choices. And I think using these two heroes and uh, a mixture of a couple others, I can get to, uh, let's, let's call it level 60, level 70, maybe before I quit doing these, before I stop doing this video. And, and I, and I kind of want to do a Facebook version of this as well, because they have different merchant heroes. So, you know, I'm going through and I'm equipping stuff. Uh, I didn't realize how slow this game was in the beginning. Um, you know, you don't have the raid option. You don't have the speed up option from the Valkyrie's blessing. That's, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. So the second rule that I wanted to mention, um, now that we've got a little bit of a lull as, I'm, as the game is taking me through some stuff, uh, no purchasing emeralds. So absolutely no purchase of emeralds. Uh, and that also goes for any of the packages that shows up such as, you know, buy this hero for 20 bucks, buy this skin for, you know, 20 bucks, buy this, you know, package of XP potions and glyphs for, you know, whatever, whatever money, no buying any of those. So the idea again, free to play, free to play. And, um, Let's see what's next. Yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. There's all these quests, right? Level up. So here's another prime example. So there's a Kira event happening right now. Kira is the hero of the month on mobile, and uh, Kira is a campaign hero. So I could theoretically, you know, within the rules of my game, I could use, you know, I could use Kira as my, uh, you know, as my hitter if I wanted to. Uh, play every day. Collect guardian soul stones. Yeah, get all these things. So I found very quickly that I, I was able to accrue a ton of emeralds very fast. So every time you, you defeat one of the, one of the, the, the missions in the campaign that has the, you know, the opportunity to give you the hero soul stones, every time you defeat one of those, you actually get, um, you actually complete the first quest. And then if you defeat it three times, it completes a second quest. The first quest gives you soul stones for that hero. And the second quest gives you a, a bunch of emeralds. So <laughs> a ton of emeralds. I think by the time I was uh, finished with day two, I had over a thousand emeralds saved up. It's kind of crazy, kind of crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to jump forward a little bit to um, let's go ahead and jump forward to about right here. So I got a couple of heroes unlocked. I've got Phobos. I've got Aurora. Um, these are my only five heroes that I have. So I'm using these five. Um, you know, I'm leveling them up. Uh, I hate Aurora. <laughs> I've just never liked her. Um, her barbarian skin is pretty cool, but I've just never, never been a huge fan. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of cleaning stuff up, trying to, trying to get through here. Um, oh, I had not had an opportunity to look at these. So look at this. I can get judge soul stones, Chaba. Um, you know, this is from the, oh, this is from the, um, from the outland vendor which I don't have access to yet. You get access to the Highwayman, I believe at 18, and then you get access to um, Outland, I think at 30. You get access to the, um, not the Adventures. Oh, the Artifact System, the name escapes me. I don't know why. Um, you get access to that at 20, and I'll cover that. Um, I'll cover that in the second video. So I'm kind of going along here. Uh, I wanted to show this because this is where I go, complete 10 missions, I am level 9, and I don't have level 10. Oh, this is where I'm clicking through. I'm trying to figure out where. So level 50 is arena, or I'm sorry, grand arena. That's really ultimately what I need to get to, so I have access to all of the, all of the merchant shops, and that's when I can really start to build my free-to-play team. That's when I can really start building my free-to-play team. Yeah, so watch me watch me defeat the uh, the Archdemon for the first time. 
with my uh, with my new baby, <laughs> my new baby team. Ugh, I forgot how slow this gameplay is with, <laughs> without speed up. Uh, and, you know, I, I, it was kind of late whenever I was doing this, so I just left it on auto mode. I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have been doing this a little bit more effectively. But as you can see, I was able to, to I was able to defeat him pretty handily. So no problem there. No problem there at all. Um, yeah, so now this is where it gets real. This is where I want to kind of end the, uh, the gameplay portion of the video and discuss the, um, the first vendor that I have access to. I'm going to go ahead and name myself HWC for Hero War Central, free to play. And, you know, if you guys want to find me and, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know what you can do on mobile, but, um, So let's talk about the arena vendor, um, the arena merchant real quick for the mobile version of the game. You can see you have Judge, Darkstar, Chaba, and Astrid and Lucas. And whenever you're talking about leveling up heroes and what heroes to choose, uh, what hero should I spend arena coins on? Uh, I actually wouldn't recommend any of these heroes uh, unless you just aesthetically love these heroes. Okay, so for any new player coming along trying to decide if any of these heroes are good, none of these heroes are strong end game heroes. Okay, and I'm big, uh, I'm really big on not wasting materials. Um, but what I am going to do is I am probably going to grab Astrid and Lucas for this free to play playthrough um, because I think that I might need the I might need the support might need the extra uh, tankiness that Lucas will provide early on. Um, but, you know, on second thought, I probably won't. I probably won't uh, get Astrid and Lucas. I think Galahad will be fine. And, uh, you know, I'll keep Astaroth in there for a little while. What I will do is I will save up these arena coins to spend on items. And that's ultimately, uh, at end game. that's ultimately what you want to use all these coins on is, you see this, uh, you know, the Elven Shield and the Dark Grail there at the bottom. Uh, you can use those items to promote your heroes. And that's that's really where the bulk of your merchant uh, coins are going to go to once you get all these heroes leveled up uh, to your satisfaction. So um, if I were to ask, or, I'm sorry, if somebody were to ask me today, um, which of these four heroes would you level? I wouldn't level any of them. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, please let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the Highwayman vendor. If you think that I need to use any of those heroes for my free to play team and look for episode two of free to play Friday next week, uh, where I talk about, you know, I'll, I'll get from, I'll get from level 10 to level 20. I'll talk about the, um, the, the, the Zeppelin or the, um, the artifact system. I'll talk about the uh, the highwayman vendor. I'll talk about the highwayman and that and that stuff. I'll talk a little bit about high uh, outland probably. Um, but uh, with that being said, if you found this video informational or helpful or or interesting, please consider caressing that like button. And um, I love you guys. I will see you next week.